Welcome back to my channel. My name is Crop Queen and today I like to show you my latest project and this time it's again a mini album and I used Prima Marketing Dar Cell Collection. So stay tuned. Alright, so now the first thing I like to talk about is the size. So this is a 7 by 7.5 inch. And the spine is 4 inches wide in centimeters. That is 18 by 19 centimeters. And it's about 10 centimeters wide. All right, guys. So let me first show you the cover. Oh, my goodness. I love the details. Love this little angel. I love this frame. The beige color with the aubergine and the dark blue, the leaves. I love it all. Our beautiful life. So this album, you can add so many pictures in there. I left so much space. I used some ribbons, dark blue, this lace, this cotton lace. Then we go to the spine. Love this book binders linen. The color fits amazingly well to the uh, collection. I used this frame right here and I used Escape the Ordinary. I put some, um, some glossy accents on it and then the back is just plain with also the lace on the back. Alright, so let's get inside. Okay, let's open this up. And let's go to the first page. Okay, you know I love pockets and I love making a see-through pocket. So that is what I made again on this album with um, a nice see-through pocket. A very big pocket where you still and it's an accordion pocket so you can add loads of things in here uh, for your photos or the places that are not having a photo spot you still can add your little pieces of white in this big pocket. So that is super to use such a nice clear pocket, an accordion pocket. So let's go to the first page. Um, I wanted to say uh, real quick that I wanted to make this album quick, not quick, easy. It, 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 it's an easy and simple album, not too many flippity flops or difficult pieces in there. I wanted to make it simple to make for everybody. All right, so I hope I accomplished that. <laughs> um, okay, so the first page. It's a nice simple pocket. I hope I do not mention too much the word simple. I try to keep in mind that I do not want to say that too much. <laughs> okay, but we have a nice pocket. The first one, I layered some lace right here and I added some nice tags in here. And I used, oh, that's the same, the same quote as we used on the front. Then in each page, there is a little booklet 
I use a nice um, a nice little element on the side right here, a nice little charm. And I use my very very last uh, papers for the for the for the cover for the cover of this booklet. So in each pocket there is a nice booklet, and then you flip this to the left, and then you will have also on each page there is an I added an extra page on it for a photo collage. I do that recently pretty much each album because I do like have extra photo spots. So yeah, and I do not want to have any closure on that. So it's a nice flippable album. And yeah, so you can use all these spots. The white spots you can white down, but you also can add your pictures on. So yeah, it's a great way to use every single centimeter or inch from your collection so as you can see i used some white cardstock i used some aubergine cardstock and i used some dark blue cardstock and yeah, of course i used the collection prima marketing the a4 collection then the next page i created two nice pockets with just a nice tag in here and then we have two swing tabs that can open this page and here I created just a nice cut out pocket with the ni nice tags that came with the collection and then here you have two nice photo spots which I use by the way uh, for those who like to know a punch for these for these corner cutouts and it's from Craftelier and I know Craftelier do not send worldwide, but for those who can get it, this is where I get it. I'm just going to tell you where I get it. So if, if it's not possible for you to get it, then I'm sorry for that. But that is where I got it from, from Craftelier. I don't. All right, so then let's go to the next page. Um, this page, well, first of all, there is a little pocket right here at the bottom. Then you can open this little ribbon and then you open this up at the bottom. Um, I just added some white so you still can white on here or you still can add a picture. And then of course it's a nice waterfall where you can add your little pictures on. If you like. So I kept them plain and then here is a nice cute little talk spot where you still can add a little note or something inside there. So that's totally up to you. And then you just can tie this back again with this seam bindings. Seam binding. Seam binding. Yeah, it's just seam binding. Yeah. Love seam binding. Okay, it's a little tiny bow. Hope I can make it to tie it up again. Yep, here we go. Nice and tight. Then again, of course, a big uh, booklet inside. And the rest, the inside, I kept it plain. There we go again to a nice photo layout. Um, here we have a nice little tuck spot. Photo places. Yeah, you can do whatever you like with these nice pages, but I think they also always cute. All right, for the next page, I of course used all. <laughs> I used it all to make a nice little tuck spot right here. And then we have a big pocket where I used some uh, cotton lace and added a nice tag in here. Then for the next page, I love making these closures. Um, <laughs> this opens up, this goes to the bottom. At the bottom, I need to flip my page. Uh, you can add a nice picture here. And as you can see, I used it all to make a nice frame. <laughs> Every inch I used. Uh, here we have a little extra tuck spot. Then we have a big pocket where you still can add loads of things in here. And then this closes it all down with this nice flap. And then at the bottom of this page, um, the, it's actually a photo uh, frame also with, uh, with, with the corners, but I, also, but I already add um, a piece of design paper in it because I don't like to see too many plain paper 
right away in front of a page. So that's, but this will look how you add a picture in it. See, it's only tucked in with the quarters. So, so cute. And then we have another booklet, but of course the inside is plain. Then we have another photo layout with another nice tuck spot where you still can. If you don't want to glue down your picture, then these tuck spots are perfect. So you just slide in your picture behind this and you still can write something down here for a nice big photo. But for now I just put these, put this right in here. Um, yep, here is also a nice photo collage, photo frame with the corners cut out. A nice little writing spot. Always super, super cute. Then for the next page, we have some um, swing tabs. It opens this up. And on the left side, also a nice photo spot. And then in here, we have a nice booklet. You can write on here. You can add your little pictures, whatever you like to keep in here. And then, of course, on this side, it's exactly the same. Also with a nice little booklet inside. And of course on here a nice spot for photos. Alright, I need to push this down all the way of course, otherwise it can be can't be closed down with these swing tabs. Love these little arrows. Perfect for swing tags. Alright, so let's go to the next page. All right, the next page has a large pocket with a little tag in. I did not glue this down completely, so you still can add your photo underneath this little Your Potential is Endless. So a nice big pocket where you still can add more pictures in there if you like. And then again, a nice big booklet inside where you also can write in or you can add pictures in here or anything. Then another layout, and then we go to this page. This one has this closure right here. Um, I added also a nice um, pin with a charm on it. This flips to the left, so it's a great, great opportunity to add more pictures in here. Same on this side. And again, I used it all, <laughs> everything I used, and another picture and another leftover piece and another picture and of course you can uh, keep little things in here or you can also put a picture on that little spot and then this closes it all up with that then we have another cutout page so it's just a full page this is just a full page but if you cut a little piece like this one you just can write your little memories on here Always nice to keep that. And some little tags for here at the bottom. So, so cute. I always love to make those cutouts. So easy. And then, of course, we have another booklet. Empty inside. And then we go to another super duper <laughs> layout. Yeah, it's just a great way to use all your little bits and pieces. It's just... The best way to use it all. Alright, then the next page we have a large um, um, belly band, a very large belly band, where you can add a little tag underneath or some photo mats or whatever you like to add under here. Then we have these two little swing tabs again, which opens up two nice photo frames, and in here two nice simple cute little pockets with a simple tag in there all right and then this page has a big pocket but then with this form i really love to do that sometimes um, you can add loads and loads of things in here i added already some photo frames in there and then on the t on the top right here there is also a little booklet and a little tag right here to put back in here in this little tuck spot. 
And then of course the last big tag, not the big tag, it's a booklet. That big booklet. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then you flip this to the left and here I created another um, tuck spot. You can add a big picture on here or four small ones, that's totally up to you. Two writing spots right here or a picture frame, that's totally up to you. And then we have a big pocket which I also used all the little pieces just to have it another decorative piece and another big square photo frame and for the last one I just wanted a simple <laughs> pocket to store everything so there are so so many spots and places where you can add your pictures in, you can write in here, you even, I did not do that, but it's a possibility, uh, you even can add some of uh, journaling pages in here to have to make little um, little diaries for that, so I did not do that, I actually I totally forgot about it uh, to do, but that's, that's a possibility, so you have your little journals, your little diaries with you, if you like, and yeah, there were so many, so many spots um, where you can add your lovely pictures in there. And even with this big pocket at the front, yeah, so many spaces. And it's it's not that thick already, so you have plenty of space um, for your photos. Okay, and what do you think? Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm super, 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 super excited. I am. Um, I'm very proud on how it all comes together. The colors are totally my style. I love it. I love the dark colors with the light colors, with the brown and everything. It's very vintage. I love Prima Marketing and I was so, so glad that I finally could do something with Prima Marketing for making a kit. Because yet there is a kit, but I'm going to tell you that in another video. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this walkthrough. I hope you like uh, this album. I There is a tutorial available, of course. And it will be available soon as it's ready, of course. And every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I normally upload load a new part. Sometimes even Sunday. So keep an eye on my channel. I hope to see you with all my follow along uh, brabbling tutorials. And I hope you had a blast with it. And um, yeah, see you. See you next time. Thank you so, so much for watching. Give me a big thumbs up to love this video. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. If you are curious to the kit, then please click on the other video that's available on my YouTube video to see what's in the kit. All right. But there is, there is a kit. Check it out. Not much. Limited edition. <laughs>